Hi. Um, this is an introductory video to a series of videos that I hope to be doing, which I'm going to call um, Going Beyond Arduino. Now, um, what, what I propose to do in my series of videos is just to teach some programming skills that go beyond what Arduino uh, world, the Arduino world, uh, allows you to do and, and to uh, uh, get to know the microcontroller better so that you can um, program the uh, registers and the bits in the registers to make it do what you want it to do rather than relying on somebody else like Arduino to do it for you. Um, I'm not here to diss Arduino at all. I think uh, what they've done is uh, fantastic on allowing many people with little or no programming and electronic skills to make stuff with Arduinos and, and uh, the amount of stuff that's been made out there is fantastic. It's, it's great. It's amazing but um, there's a limitation to what you can do with Arduino because it's been simplified and you don't know what's going on in behind and my proposal here is a series of videos to uh, take you through the inner workings of the microcontroller that's used in the Arduino, the ATmega328, and learn how to program it directly so that you're not reliant on somebody else doing it for you. And I also find that a lot of people on the internet are looking at different forums on the internet. People are looking for, uh, they want a specific um, library to do something that they want to do. And they find something on the internet uh, they don't know the quality of it, but they try it anyways, and it either doesn't compile properly or it doesn't work, and they ha they're stuck. They don't know what to do, and they're asking for help. And my idea with these videos is to give you the tools that you can help yourself. You don't have to get somebody else to help you. And so it'll be a series of videos. I think what I'll do is um, I'll do a project, and we'll build something, and uh, I'll take you through this, the whole series of uh, steps to, uh, to build the project and write the software for it. It'll, it'll primarily be focusing on the software and not so much on the hardware, but I'll, I'll do some electronics in here as well. And so this is the first video, the intro for this series, and um, I'll talk about some stuff that you're going to need uh, in order to follow along with this series of videos. And I want to get away from the Arduino environment, so we're going to use a different IDE. And IDE just stands for Integrated Development Environment, which is your editor and your compiler and your linker and all that stuff that allows you to write the code and program it into your microcontroller. The Arduino IDE, I find, is, is extremely limiting. It's very simplistic, and I, I personally don't like it. Um, uh, but again, like it's, it's meant to be simple for people that don't know much about it and it works well for them. But uh, I'll um, suggest one, which I will get to in a minute here in the video, and I'll go through and, and tell you how to use it. Also, you're going to need some hardware. Um, you'll need some electronic components, which I'll, I'll get to in a minute. And uh, you might need more electronic components than what I talk about right now in this video, but I'll, I'll uh, talk about it in other videos. Um, you're going to need a programmer and uh, they're cheap you can get them for about 20 to 50 bucks or more and I'll talk about that in a moment um, in order to program the uh, the your in order to download or burn your program into the microcontroller uh, we're not be using the uh, bootloader that's built into them with the Arduino we're going to do it directly um, so I'll talk about those as well and where to get them so um, let's go to the bench and let's review some of the, uh, the programmers that you can uh, get. So the first thing you're going to need, of course, is a board to hold a microcontroller. And uh, an Arduino will work just fine like this uh, Arduino clone here. Just make sure it has this connector, the 6-pin connector installed. Um, it's what you plug your programming device into. And also it would be handy if um, you got a board that had the microcontroller which is this big chip here and it's a uh, through hole part and it's plugged into a socket and the idea is that you can pop this thing out of the socket and replace it if you uh, blow it up and the other reason for being able to remove it is that um, uh, the chip you buy from Arduino has a bootloader it's a, which is a small program that communicates to the serial port through the USB port to your uh, computer in order to download the software and burn it into the chip here and uh, if um, you program it with an external programmer through this port here, you'll erase that bootloader and then it won't work with Arduino. So the idea would be to pop the chip out of the Arduino, the original Arduino chip out of the board, put it aside and plug in a fresh microcontroller that you can purchase online. 
and I'll give you some links uh, below the video here to uh, where you can go to purchase parts like these and so um, that's what I recommend for the board here but like I said anything will do and if you're really into doing it you could uh, get yourself one of these things here a solderless breadboard and start plugging parts in there I'm not planning to use something like this um, but it's something you could try if you wish uh, for ease of following along with my video it's probably best to have a, a board like this because then you can just plug into these headers here now the next thing you're going to need is a programmer now this is a programmer that was made by Atmel and uh, they were pretty cheap I think I got this for about 30 or 40 dollars Canadian and it just simply plugs into the USB port on your computer and then this connector here which is a six pin connector plugs into the the connector on the end here of the Arduino now um, these, this thing worked fine for me for for a number of years and then when I upgraded to uh, higher level Windows especially Windows 10 there seemed to be some communication problems with this and the computer and it didn't seem to work very well and then doing a bit of uh, hunting on the internet I found a couple of forums that mentioned that as well that there were some problems I think they're not insurmountable but um, uh, if you want to just get into this quickly it's uh, best to maybe avoid these there's tons of them available on the internet although it doesn't look like uh, Atmel is producing them anymore or I forgot did I mention that this is built by Atmel and available through uh, your typical distributors like Mouser and DigiKey but right now I looked online and, and neither of uh, those places have any in stock and I checked with, our, uh, with Atmel as well and there doesn't appear to be any stock at Atmel is either so I'm not sure what's going on they may have discontinued these because of that communications problem so uh, if you decide to buy one of these uh, off of eBay or somewhere like that be cautious it may, it may not work but I saw some of them there for around twenty dollars um, the uh, programmer that I use now is also from Atmel this is called the Atmel ICE actually let's go back a step here this one's called the AVR ISP Mark II um, if you're looking for it but again I, I don't recommend using it if you're using Windows 10 going back to this this guy here the Atmel ICE um, this one will program Atmel's ARM chips as well as the AVRs you just use a, a different connector here and um, uh, the basic package of this which con consists of one cable like this a USB cable that plugs into the end here and this all itself uh, this itself uh, is around what did I pay about eighty dollars Canadian for this I've seen them cheaper in the US um, this thing works flawlessly with Atmel Studio and also this one works with Atmel Studio as well um, and we'll talk about Atmel Studio in a minute because that's the uh, IDE the integrated development environment we're going to use here so this is uh, another option um, they're available quite readily at Mouser and DigiKey um, but they are more expensive if you look online, if you uh, do a Google search for AVR programmer, you'll find quite a few. Um, they're little boards about that long that just plug straight into a USB port, and the other end has a, um, a connector on it for a, a cable like this. And they run, you know, ten or twenty dollars. Um, I have no experience with them. I don't know what they're like, but uh, they're supposed to work with Atmel Studio. Um, SparkFun is one place that you can get a programmer. Um, what's another one? Uh, Adafruit is a place where you can get uh, a programmer much like what I just described, the little ones. And so just look around and uh, if you're willing to, to take your chances with, a tw with $20, um, you'll probably find yourself with a programmer that will work quite well. But like I said, this is my recommended one. It is quite expensive. If you're just wanting to play around as a hobbyist, you may not want to purchase it but be willing to experiment and have some failures uh, if you uh, virtue something off of the internet that you're not sure about um, that's it for programming uh, in the next video I'm going to talk about um, Atmel Studio actually um, in the meantime between videos here you guys can go on to atmel.com search for Atmel Studio and uh, go to the download page and uh, you'll have to sign up which is not a big deal Atmel doesn't spam you with your uh, email address they don't seem to sell it I never had any more email spams than 
the, before I signed up to Atmel, and I, I used my real name and my real ad, uh, email address, and I get a, um, a newsletter from Atmel every month or so, and it's quite interesting. I, I find it uh, interesting to read just to see what uh, products they're doing, and they have webinars available and lots of videos to help you uh, program stuff. So sign up to atmel.com, download Atmel Studio, and uh, load it up. It'll come with it, it comes with everything that you need right off the bat. Uh, with the compilers that you need. It uses the GNU GNU uh, GCC compiler for both the AVR chips and the uh, ARM chips and uh, it, it, I like it, it works quite well. So in the next video I'll talk about uh, software management using Atmel Studio.